Okay. Unhurried observer. Delightful breeze and a breathtaking view. What is it like in the future? Is the world still a beautiful place? It is. As beautiful as ever. Hmm. I swear I could hear the glimmer in your eyes and the adoration in your voice. While we wait, will you not tell me about your adventures? I guess. Sure. Well, not the portentous events which led you here. But the simple delights all your own. So I went to the first and there was this girl called Rain and then there was this thing called Seto and there was this dog people. Oh my god, I couldn't believe the dog people. Yeah, and then I went to the moon and there was this Adorable little rabbits. Too bad that they are little bastards. And yeah, but yeah, but they are, they are still adorable. By learning about the future world, I may gain insight into future me's plans. Sure. But more than that, I have an interest simply as a fellow traveler, short of going somewhere oneself. There's not more stirring than hearing another's account. Yeah. Hmm. That's a nice scene. <laughs> the expressions here oh my god that that's amazing that's so good that's so good incredible <laughs> oh that i could have been there to see it yeah Yours is a harsh and unforgiving world. Yet in spite of this, your brethren hold fast to their virtue. To know that the light of mankind's potential still shines, even in that faraway place, it gives me heart. Thank you for regaling me with your tales. I will treasure every word. As you know, I was once a scholar. And among other things, I sought to understand the workings of the world. What exactly is ether? How formed the laws of nature? When sprung mankind? Riddles and mysteries beyond counting. Over the years, I have managed to find answers to some few of them. Yet rather than attain a sense of mastery, the more I understood, the more I came to hold the world and its miracles in awe. Right. That's how it goes. We too are miracles. 
each and every one of us. Born of the warm breath of life that traverses the heavens, swirling through eternity. When I fully grasped the improbability of our existence, nothing felt impossible anymore. If it could be imagined, it could be done. A passion swelled within me. An epiphany dispelling all preconceptions of what was natural and true. Hmm. That's nice. And a presence without. Immense, yet intimate. Fate, perhaps. Holding us in its tender embrace. As reassuring as it was intimidating. How keenly aware I became of creation's fragility. Built as it is upon precarious happenstance. That's a very nice way to put... To put it right, that realization, as reassuring as it is intimidating, that's so accurate. That's so accurate. I was overcome with an irrepressible urge to know the world more intimately, to hear its voice, feel its breath. I ventured forth on a journey that very day, so very long ago now. Freed from presumption and prejudice, I saw the world through a newborn's eyes. Everything fresh and new, and so, so beautiful. That's nice. Lands that stretched on forever. Skies one could drown in. The heartbeat of nature, silent yet strong. And amidst it all a people. Beacons of light and life. Laughter that warmed my heart like naught else before. They are my meaning and my purpose. My love. And so long as they need help, I cannot return to the star. Hmm. Perhaps my future self is still waiting for it. The moment she can let go and walk unto the end. Unto the end. Oh man. I got goosebumps. Safe in the knowledge that man will find his own way. You, who are our future, tell me this and tell me true. Okay. Has your journey been good? Has it been worthwhile? <laughs> what a question, right? Fuck. It's like she's not she's not asking the character. I mean we are the characters, so one and the same. Pray forgive my lateness. Fuck. My observation subject was rather irritable, and it took a while to settle it down. No need to apologize. Your work takes precedence. Besides, we had a pleasant conversation in the meantime. That was such a good scene. And just thinking about it, not giving the player the option to answer that. That's so brilliant, actually. That is just brilliant. Holy shit, this game. Oh, man. 
you're too kind. Now then, I'm told you wished to ask me some questions. Do you do you realize just how great that scene was? Just how not allowing the, the player to answer that, what that means? Like, th that question is not... Anyway. Indeed. I have an interest in one of Hermes's creations. Meteon. You witnessed a host of them take flight, yes? Oh, that! Yes, yes, I did. It was in the dark of the morn. I'd left the Thalassi after nocturnal observation. As I walked along, I spied a bright light climbing high into the southeastern skies. Then, in an instant, it was gone. Like a shooting star, only rising rather than falling. But then another shot up. Then another. And another. Intrigued, I made my way to the edge to investigate. And who should I spy on an isle to the south? But Hermes and Meteon, the, the Matea, rather. Uh, what? There oh, were lots I see. of them, and I, I realized they must be the shooting stars that I'd seen. Yeah. A dazzling spectacle indeed. Have you spoken with Hermes about this? Oh, yes. The sight left such an impression on me that I approached him about his mystery project the very next day. And the worst part is... He does not mean anything bad by doing this. He just has no idea... What it could bring, but... He did it just to, just to find an answer, just to... Maybe... Try to find someone to connect to. It was innocent. Alas, he said that he couldn't reveal anything just yet, that he needed to conduct further tests. <laughs> it shouldn't be long now, though. He often returns to that isle, and I have a feeling he's nearing a breakthrough. Hmm. Hmm, now that is interesting. That we should investigate. Yeah, let's go there. Splendid. We are likewise eager for the details. That we are. Well, that is all we wish to ask. Thank you for taking the time to indulge our curiosity. You're very welcome. It's always a pleasure to speak with other inquisitive souls. Oh, and will you be descending now? If so, I shall link the doors for you. Please. Yeah. He have. He will have, but I don't think it's intentional. At least so far, the information I have so far leads me to believe that it's not intentional. Yeah, I don't think he does. I mean, he has reason to, of course. But I, I don't think he, he would do that. That's not him. He didn't come across as that.
worthy of his back. Yeah, me too. That's far away, isn't it? It's quite far away. Um, It's a very big boy. He's so cool. Help is Minotaur. And I, I remember uh, one of the NPCs in Amorot was was talking about um, making a Minotaur or something. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. He's so big. Look at him. Holy heck. Look at the size of him. He's so cool. Southeast, huh? I wonder if that's it. That's the island. Maybe, maybe that? Could be that, or could be that. I don't. The dog. Oh man, here we go. <laughs> of course she has a dog. He's shy. I have. Yes. <laughs> Man, if... If Elidibus could send me back into the past, why instead weren't the, the Ashen's plans? Well, okay, no, never mind. I was gonna say, why didn't they, why didn't they try to to figure out the Crystal Tower and figure out um, time travel and go back here and fix everything and try to learn about learn more about the thing. And yeah, I know that, that the energy required for Elidibus to send me back cost him all of his energy. But they were the Asians. They could have taken crystals or a lot of other stuff. But but yeah, I guess I guess they didn't want to save another timeline. They wanted to save their own. They wanted to go back. They're rejoining their own timeline. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Never mind. Uh, a sparing match? Okay. We are fighting Hydaelyn, I guess. Vena, at least.
<laughs> I will choose your battlefield. <laughs> choose your battlefield. Man, I can't believe I'm gonna fight Hydaelyn. I mean, I know it's not Hydaelyn, it's just Renat, but the same. It's Hydaelyn's heart. That's crazy because I, I fought Zodiac and now I'm, I'm fighting Hydaelyn's heart. apologize in advance for what I'm about to do. I don't want to fight Vena. What the heck? Let neither side hold back. Amazing music. Oh fuck. Ooh. That hurt a lot, Hydalin. Oh shit. My blade sings! I shall have to try something different. She's a dancer. Look at that, she's a dancer. No quarter.
move to the final trial. Oh, There's a dog. Super Saiyan. <laughs> okay. Oh. Break your chains, shed your burdens, and show me your strength of will. Uh, quick time event. No, I mean, the thing I'm supposed to click. Oh, I'm dead. Come on, oh, you still stand. The people of your time are more resilient than I had dared hope. I have seen enough. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I guess. Wow. was my intent to finish it, but clearly I underestimated you. One would think I never learn. I made the same mistake with Asm when we first sparred. <laughs> Despite being less than half my age, her strength was astounding. As is yours. Tis plain you have weathered considerable hardship. Far more even than your tales would suggest. It seems we have both learned much on our journeys. Hey. There oh, we go. No. I dare say he has warmed to you. It's a he, all right. Wolf. A boon to be sure. He never forgets his favorites <laughs> and is ever eager to come to their aid. Hmm, is that so? Hello. 